breaking out all over. There's uh, an article here from uh, the Gateway Pundit. Military bans Bibles but forces soldiers to adhere to Ramadan rules. And that's in Bahrain. And this is a memo that was put out by uh, Stars and Stripes. They said, U.S. personnel accustomed to driving to drinking their coffee on the drive to work will have to put that habit on hold for about a month. It's one of the few lifestyle changes that Americans will have to make during the holy month of Ramadan. Meanwhile, the U.S. Air Force kicked Christian Gideon volunteers off of the base in March who were handing out free Bibles. We've got news on the immigration front. We see that there are calls now in Congress to give refugee status for Central American kids. Two problems with this. Number one, they define children as anyone up to 31 years of age. That's what Obama did when he announced his amnesty. That's what's driving this. We had a caller yesterday say, why aren't the Republicans stopping this? The Republicans want this. The Republicans, Boehner and others, are pushing for immigration. They're looking for any reason that they can get illegal immigrants legalized. And we see that in the news today as well. But before we leave this story, this is Senator John McCain telling Reuters that establishing refugee application programs in Honduras, El Salvador, and Guatemala where domestic abuse, gang violence, and poverty are rampant is the key to defusing the growing U.S. border crisis. Really? Why don't we address the root cause of all those things, which is the American war on drugs? Or I should say the American war of drugs, because that's what we have inflicted them with. That is driving the violence. That's driving the gangs, just like it drives it here in America. When you prohibit anything, just like we prohibited alcohol, it didn't stop alcohol abuse. All it did was concentrate the alcohol, and it created a massive black market monopoly for organized crime. And this has gotten far beyond that, because this has gone on now for decades. They shut that experiment with alcohol prohibition down after a few years. Now we have gone on for several decades, and it has metastasized into a real war throughout Central and South America. And it's the American government that is pushing this just as we did in Afghanistan, where the production of heroin went from 10% under the Taliban to 90% under U.S. occupation. Look at what we did with Iran-Contra, with cocaine, bringing that in. We've had Tosh Plumley talk about all the cocaine that they were bringing in and telling people that they were destroying it. They found out they weren't destroying it. Actually, what they were doing was they were using it to create the crack cocaine epidemic in L.A., and that was part of Iran-Contra. But Pelosi was at the border this weekend, and she said that this border breach, the collapse of the border, I would say, is a, quote, opportunity to serve God's children. Listen to what she had to say. The crisis that some call a crisis, we have to view as an opportunity. If you believe, as we do, that every child, every person has a spark of divinity in them and is therefore worthy of respect, what we saw in those holding rooms was a dazzling, sparkling array of God's children who are worthy of respect. She repeats that phrase, they're worthy of respect. They have a spark of divinity. If she really believes that children are created in the image of God, then why does she push these abortion mandates? Why does she push abortion funding? Why does she allow children to be killed? Why is she so selective as to which children she gives respect and dignity to? Certainly, none is shown to any of the children who are flying in at airports or who are stopped on the streets or other transportation hubs by the TSA. Now, she's not the only one who's talking about how this is not a crisis but an opportunity. Of course, General Petraeus has said that he believes that uh, this is now we're after America. We now have North America. That's what logically follows America, he said. This is NAFTA being brought into effect. As Petraeus said, they passed the laws 20 years ago, and now they're making it a fact. This is their opportunity. And this kind of global consolidation is not something that just the Democrats are pushing, of course. We have the GOP leadership pushing it just as hard. Look at this new House Majority Leader saying that first we have to secure the borders, then we're going to legalize the illegal immigrants. This is Kevin McCarthy, the guy that just replaced Eric Cantor. He said, this is an opportunity, sounds familiar, doesn't it? An opportunity to negotiate for the legalization of illegal immigrants, but only after the border is secured.
That's right. And of course, in Fairfax County, 40% of the kindergartners don't speak English. The class of 2026. We'll be right back. Stay with us. We've got Alex Jones joining us at the bottom of the hour. A sudden change in the wind. The day grows dark. As ominous clouds move in and lightning begins to carve arcs in the sky. And you realize you are not prepared. I am telling you, yes, cover. Cover. The number of intense storms is increasing exponentially in the U.S. Tornadoes, hurricanes, flooding, and droughts are happening with greater magnitude and frequency. If you are choosing to rely on the government to save you. And no one's coming to help them. You could be dead wrong. The first step towards self-reliance in the face of disaster is a visit to My Patriot Supply. Com. There you'll find the absolute best prices on storable foods, non-GMO seeds, emergency water filtration devices, and so much more. All orders over $49 qualify for free shipping in the lower 48. Visit us online or call 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. And speak to one of our preparedness advisors today. Remember, before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. Most people know that iodine deficiency has been a crisis around the world. Iodine is key to so many of the body's functions, especially the thyroid. I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, and the best part is it helps fund InfoWars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off Super Detox Special at InfoWarsLife.com. If you're worried about your health and you're tired of the nasty side effects of harsh drugs or antibiotics, then look no further. Supernatural Silver is the answer. Supernatural Silver is a powerful immune system enhancer that can be used every day to help keep you healthy and well with none of those nasty side effects. It's extremely safe for use internally as well as topically. And Supernatural Silver is hundreds of times more effective than colloidal or ionic silver. It is perfect for use in the sinuses, eyes, ears, and on any wound or skin issue. Supernatural Silver is also extremely effective when taken orally and can help fight off bacteria, viruses, and mold that may be overwhelming your immune system. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com SupernaturalSilver.com and use the promo code SILVER over 2014 for 20% off of your entire order and give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance with Supernatural Silver. Hey folks, this is Larry Crisp for BabyBoomerBackupPlan.com. I don't have to tell you, this economy sucks. Unlike the political elite and Wall Street bankers, you know that debts don't disappear and bailouts have big consequences. Stock and real estate market bubbles can pop at any moment and evaporate most or all of your retirement savings. Folks, we're in the weakest economy of our lifetime and it's likely to get much worse. Virtually zero sectors of the economy are hiring and workforce participation is at record lows. And I'm here to tell you, this may be the best thing that could happen to you if you move decidedly and develop a backup plan immediately. Proportionately, more millionaires were created during the Great Depression than at any time in history, and history is about to repeat itself. Get my free report at babyboomerbackupplan.com or call 888-507-8789. That's 888-507-8789. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I am David Knight, your host today. We were talking just before the break about how Nancy Pelosi came to the border of Texas and was talking about the dignity of the children, the respect that they're due, how they had the light of God in them. And of course, we recognize that everyone has basic human rights uh, that need to be defended. But we also recognize, just as she said, she'd like to take all of them home with her and wasn't able to. It's just like when you're in an airplane and they tell you that if there's an emergency, the oxygen mask is going to descend. 
You need to put that oxygen mask on yourself before you put it on a child that is traveling with you. If we allow them to collapse the American economy by collapsing the border and bringing in children from all over the world or immigrants from all over the world, we cannot provide for them any more than she could provide for uh, all these children in her home. She says she wished she could take all of them home with her. Obviously, there are practical limits as to what we can do. And one of the things that we need to do is remove the conditions that are driving people into this country. And that is the war on drugs. That has ravished Central and South America. It's going to get worse here in America. It's the basis of the police state that's been going on for a long time. Now they're pushing that up into a war of terror. And both of these are being fed by open borders. That's an excuse for them to come after us. Now, of course, they don't give us freedom and dignity within this country. They don't give it to children and they don't give it to adults. Look at this article here. Professor body slammed by a cop for refusing to show her ID in Arizona, one of the points of entry. Let's take a look at this video. The ASU officer says Orr repeatedly refused orders, and as he attempts to handcuff her, the struggle intensifies. Stop fighting me and put your hand behind your back. Stop touching me! Put your hand Stop. Put your Stop. hand behind your back! Slams her to the ground right there. Slams her right in the concrete. Stop. Jumps Professor on her. Orr wearing She's in a, a skirt. Dress is left exposed yeah. while on the ground. As she gets up, you can see she kicks the officer in the left shin. Her, her dress was up, and the officer was reaching toward um, her anatomy and after what had already happened she felt uncomfortable with his hands going there. Orr's attorney says she's claiming self-defense. The professor now fighting a felony charge of aggravated assault. She's so now they're going to charge her with a woman. felony. Um, she's very See, educated. Now a lot of people say well she was jaywalking so now she has to show her ID. Well guess what? There are people coming across the Arizona border in droves. They're committing a crime. They're coming across illegally. Why aren't they being requested to see their ID? Do you understand the double standard that exists? Do you understand that this is over the top behavior, slamming women into the ground as they're hand after they're already handcuffed? We're going to get two different levels of treatment from the government. A lot of people say, well, I, I think we're going into 1984. Others say, no, it's more like Brave New World. Well, actually, they're doing both. If you want to stand up, if you're aware, if you're cognizant of what's going on, if you want to talk about your freedom and your dignity, you're going to get the 1984 treatment, just like that Arizona professor did. You're going to get the 1984 boot in your face. But... You know, if you'll take the Brave New World treatment, they'll just uh, keep you pacified with hedonism and distractions. So they're perfectly willing for you to do that, but they're going to come down on you with an iron fist with a jack boot if you insist on your personal freedoms. Now, one of the ways to do this, I think, as we look at this, they're going to do that to people who challenge their authority. I think the way that you need to challenge this authority is the way this professor, Julian Heichlin, that uh, I did a report on, the Fiji activist, a professor at uh, Penn State University, he protested jury nullification. Actually, he tried to inform, he wasn't protesting jury nullification, he was protesting the fact that judges were lying to people about jury nullification. He was trying to educate people about that, and he was constantly getting arrested, harassed by the police. And what he would do is, when they would approach him, he would say, am I under arrest or whatever? He would try to determine where they were. If it looked like it was going to get rough, he immediately got on the ground, face down, and put his hands behind his back, just so that they wouldn't have the opportunity to throw him to the ground. So a word to the wise. Now, we've got a report coming up in the next break that we're going to uh, go to. It's Alex Jones talking about Charlie Sheen's confrontation with President Obama. But before we do, I want to talk about another Arizona cop. And of course, this is a headline that's up on InfoWars. Sheriff Joe to Obama deployed the U.S. military to Mexico. I don't think that's a good idea. Frankly, I'm not a big Sheriff Joe fan. I don't think he's any friend to civil liberties. He is one of the biggest cheerleaders for the war on drugs, which is destroying our economy, destroying our freedoms, creating this police state. And if we send people to the border, if we send the military to the border, that's what they called for in Rex 84, an Operation Garden Plot. That brings us one step closer to martial law. You know, men in power will always make two mistakes rather than admit to one. 
And it's a mistake to have a war on drugs, and it's a mistake to offer amnesty, which is what Obama did. We had Border Patrol agents saying, nothing has changed in Central and South America. What's changed is our policy. We'll be right back.